great Aunt Mary's chamber pot. It's a cigar puppet. I can't be without a hat. Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, that's better. Great moogly googly. Greetings, everybody. I hope everybody had a nice new year and it will continue to be nice. I hope this year will be better than it was last year for everybody. This, it's, look, it's, uh, my wife gave me these things, you know, like finger puppets. It looks like you, it looks like you got your finger right up the frog's butthole. <laughs> King Frog. Uh, anyway, this is kind of a random, random video, random after the holidays video. Um, so I, I, I'm not even sure what I'm going to be doing or anything, but I was just getting hard for me to figure out what kind of a video to upload because I got so much stuff to go through as I usually do, and I haven't, haven't really gone through anything. So it's just going to be kind of random around here. Oh, one thing I did want to show you was uh, just before Christmas, uh, Vince, sorry for that out of focus, uh, Thuggy1, he sent me <laughs> he sent me a bunch of uh, these uh, tile coasters that he made himself. And, um... Well, I'm just going to show them to you. He sent me some other things in a, in, in a box. It was totally unexpected. And there was, you know, some, uh, uh, what I call bubblegum cards. They used to be called bubblegum cards or trading cards. Um, but mostly it was a box of uh, tiles. He sent me a box of tiles, but special tiles like this. Pretty clever, huh? Here's the back of it. So he took a tile and he put some uh, felt pads on the bottom of it and you can lay it down and use it for uh, maybe a beer coaster and it doesn't, you know, holds it pretty well because of the uh, type of uh, sealer that he put on it, Mod Podge or something like that. Um, I guess he takes a panel, an actual panel from a real comic. So. There's something wrong with uh, Vince, man. I mean, he's cutting up his own comic books. Look at that. Can you imagine that? Vince, you cut up your own comic books just for me. All kidding aside, though, it's probably uh, really, uh, you know, reader copy books or something, or books that got covers missing or pages missing and whatever but this is uh I've been trying to figure out what issue this was from probably Captain Marvel but isn't that cool it's pretty cool the way he did that took a page out put it on the glued it to the uh, tile and then put a, a sealer over it so we got that one he, he did about 20 of them I'm just gonna show you these here. here's the Ghost Rider And uh, this is from uh, Crazy. There's Doctor Doom. So that was pretty cool, you know. I'm using them too, Vince. Right now, as a matter of fact. And um, also, I got something sent to me by uh, a subscriber of mine. It was also totally out of the clear blue. I had, I think he had asked me one time for my address. He was going to send me something, and I completely forgot about it. And uh, what he sent me was totally unexpected. Where is it? Oh. It's completely unexpected. He's a, uh, the guy I'm talking about, his name is Tim Tyler. And he's a self-published uh, 
creator. Um, he did a book in the early 90s, I, th I think in the early 90s, called uh, Blood Rain. And currently, I guess, in the last few years, or the last couple of years, they were, he was involved with a book called uh, Stain. Well, here's something else I wanted to show you, too. But this is what he sent me here. He sent me some uh, samples of the work that he's done previously. Here's a book he, uh, a trade. Actually, it's not a trade, it's a graphic novel that he did called Enigma. And uh, this is from 2008. He signed it for me right down there. And it's in black and white. And it's actually pretty good. The artwork is... Uh, I was surprised. Here, take a, take a gander. Not bad. Not bad at all. I was really surprised. I mean, I mean, it's... <laughs> I haven't read this yet. I haven't had the opportunity. But I will definitely be reading it. But the artwork is... Uh, it's really pretty good. I think. I mean, you know, it's not Alex Ross or anything like that, but I, to be honest with you, don't particularly care for Alex Ross's uh, artwork except for, uh, you know, cover illustrations and stuff like that. It seems too, uh, too stiff. Alex, Alex Ross's artwork is good. I mean, it's great stuff, but it just doesn't seem to me to be suited for interior uh, comic book work. That's just my opinion, you know, but... This, on the other hand, looks uh, very well suited for interior comic book work. And this is Tim Tyler. He sent me this. It's really nice. And here's uh, the, the magazine I'm talking about, Stain. Um... I think this is uh, this is from uh, last last year during the spring. This is the issue zero, and it has uh, let's see, it's got a story in here called uh, the Barnyard Massacre, written and illustrated by uh, Mark. <coughs> I mean uh, Michael uh, Michael Buckelman. And then Zombie Drive-In, that was uh, illustrated by Joe Vigil. And Blood Rain, written and illustrated by Tim Tyler. So, uh, and there's another cover. I think, who did this cover? I don't know if this is uh, Tim Tyler did this cover. Yeah, Tyler did this cover. There's also uh, a cover A that was done by... Uh, uh, who did cover A? Tim and Joe Vigil, Tim and uh, Frank Bruner. Frank Bruner, I mean. But I'm going to show you, uh, wow, I mean, this is really, it's got some nice stuff in here. Uh, Joe Vigil, I mean, you know, this is Joe Vigil from the Zombie Drive-In. And there's something to be said for black and white artwork, you know, you, you lose a lot once the coloring starts and uh, heavy inking sometimes, but uh, 
And this is Tim Tyler. I'm, I'm trying to keep my face out of the video when I show you these pages because it focuses better. But uh, let's see if I can do that. I don't know. It's a horror anthology, and it's really, it's pretty good. I'm really surprised. And, you know, it's always harder for self-published creators to really, you know, get their name out there. It's, it's pretty tough. It's really, really a tough business for self-published creators. But this is something that uh, really looks good. Again, I haven't read this yet, but I'm looking forward to reading it. Artwork looks amazing to me. And then, he did this for me. This totally blew me away. Wow, I mean, you know, Tim, well, oh, man. This totally blew me away. First of all, he did a little note back here, you know, wishing me Merry Christmas and everything, and sign it back here Tim Tyler but on the opposite side of that I don't want to embarrass him with everything what, I, what he wrote there but not on the opposite side but this is a uh, original piece of art that he drew for me look at that holy smokes man talk about man thing isn't that beautiful man that is that is beautiful that's going up with my other stuff from uh, other other uh, artwork that I had sent to me <clears throat> It's going to get framed and put up on the wall upstairs. So that just kind of, that really blew me away. Man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this at all. So uh, I want to thank Tim. Um, that really made my Christmas, I'll tell you. That's so beautiful. And I got... When I seen when I seen the uh, the stories in here and the artwork, I had to go look for the uh, other issues. So I did uh, pick up some stuff. I, I want to show you those too. I got them right here. As a matter of fact, I wasn't going to show these, but what the hell? It's a random video. I don't. Uh, Flowers on the razor wire. Um, this is stain number one. I don't know what year this is from. This might have. This is a, probably a different volume. Let's see. That the one I showed you from Tim. That was uh, 2015. This is uh, stain number one from December 1998. So this is a, a different volume. Stain book one. And uh, also I got get it out of here. This is uh, same one, book one. 
another copy of that. I found these on eBay, uh, not too expensive. Here's Stain Book 2. Nineteen ninety nine. Got a cover on here by uh, Tim Vigil and uh, Tim Tyler. I love horror stuff, and this looks, you know, really out of this world type of horror. And then I also found uh, Stain Variant. This is um, this is just a variant. Uh, is this the? Uh, This is also from the spring, uh, the same issue that I got from Tim, except it's uh, a variant. I don't know who did this cover, though. Oh, Tim and Joe Vigil. And again, I already showed you some of the interior artwork and stuff. Let me show you a page from the uh, the first story by uh, Michael uh, Buchelman. This is uh, another issue. This is uh, a variant, the same issue again uh, from the spring of 2015. I think it's the most current one, I think. Um, it's also got a variant cover by Tyler, Tim Tyler. And if you're a horror fan, I would definitely check these. Check these out. And then, I'm not sure exactly what to make of this. This was, uh, I guess, a sample here of uh, some kind of a Ash can uh, short preview that is signed and uh, numbered right there. That came with the comic, so that was pretty cool. Anyway, again. Thank you, Tim. You're just an awesome guy, man. I mean, it's just, and I don't use that word awesome <laughs> lightly. I just think it's a ridiculous kind of word in a lot of ways, but thanks again. I'll show you that piece of art one more time, because that is so cool. That is. This is going to go upstairs next to uh, my uh, Frankenstein by uh, La Rasa that La Rasa did for me. Look at that. Man, what a beautiful rendering of the man thing.
Oh yeah, <laughs> just beautiful. And here's something else I came across. So, and I had a copy. I probably showed you a copy of this. This is a uh, So Dark of the Rose. It's a book of uh, illustration, uh, poetry, kind of. And what's unusual or great about this is the cover. It's by Bernie Wrightson. And I was able to get one. That has some water damage on it. This one that I just showed you. It's got a little bit of water damage on the lower. You can't really see it, but it's there. On the lower front. So I wanted to replace it, and I was able to do that, and I got one that was signed, too. Signed by Bernie Wrightson. So dark the rose. And, uh... Kind of a story done in prose. It's illustrated and I can't even make out the names here. Well, the cover painting is by Bernie Wrightson, and I wish I would have had the uh, opportunity to get the original of that. Gary Bishop. is the uh, creator but anyway it's the great cover by Bernie Wrightson and signed by him so dark the rose I'll show you another page I was really happy to have this. Um, well, well, what else have I got? I don't know. I'm going to have a beer. This is, a, you know, oh, look at this, what I found. I'm going through all my different boxes and stuff, and I'm finding all sorts of stuff. It's a little uh, dinky. What's it called? A dinky something. I know these are dinky cars. Oh, it's a mini, di a mini dinky. And it's actually a Ford Corsair. Corsair, actually. There's the engine. See that there? This is number 10. And I've seen this on eBay. Mint in a box. I think I saw one guy wanted like $64, another guy wanted in the upper 30s. And but they were meant in a box, and this obviously has some wear on it and stuff like that. But I'm thinking about selling it on eBay for maybe 10 bucks or something. I don't know. <laughs> I found that. And uh what else did I oh wait a minute here I found this box it has a uh, had this on there and I thought there were some kind of bugs inside you know uh, plastic you know bugs and stuff and I opened it it was a uh, just one a Hot Wheels car. A Yogi Bear Hot Wheels car. Well, Hot Wheels truck. Mm. It's Ford. 49 uh, Ford pickup. Flatbed. I don't want to take it out of the package, but so that <laughs> don't know how it ended up in there like that. I have no idea. 
all the stuff that I find here. And uh, let's see, what else we got here? Oh, I found this. I was looking for this for a while because I knew I had had put this someplace, and I finally found a Mad Max. Mad Max. And uh, there was something else that I had bought, you know, a tea strainer. I couldn't find it, and there's my tea strainer. And I have another pair of these arthritic gloves I bought. I was looking for this forever. And there they were in this, this box right here. I don't know, man. I, it's going to be eBay time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These are all my... Uh, Get a load of this. I think these are some of the first ones. Living Dead Dolls. If I'm not mistaken, this was uh, 2001. I don't know when they first started making these, but uh, these are from 2001. That's quite a long time ago. Here's another one. I don't know who they are. Little Tommy Tucker. And his sister, the dirty little... Uh... I got these on sale and that's probably why I bought them or else I probably would have never have even bothered with them and I guess these are going for you know quite a quite a bit of dough now these days the price the regular price where I bought these was uh, Six ninety nine was half price, so that was uh, three three forty nine or three fifty. And uh, these were at a at a bookstore in a mall. I forgot the bookstore itself was went out of business. Crown Books, I think it was. Could have been Crown Books. So uh, that's that. Happy New Year. I should have, uh, if I were, if I were Vince and I did these, I would have, uh, wrote on the back what, what book they were from. And that gave me a great idea. You know, Vince, you gave me a great idea for a contest. I can pick out a few of these that uh, Vince sent me, and I can have show them and have people <clears throat> email me or uh, private message me with their answer as to what book that panel is from, what comic book it's from. Obviously, I'm not going to use these because I already showed you and you have a head start trying to figure it out. But then the first one to uh, figure it out, you know, will uh, get a booby prize. What else? Oh, yeah, I found these too. It's another box. I found all these boxes stacked up and then this box, I didn't know what was in there. It's just no more matchbox cards. Matchbox and some other cars and stuff, but I'm not gonna go 
Well, this is a Macedo. Fire department. Here's another Macedo. It's a Japanese name, but they're made in China. Can you believe that? At least I think that's what they're made. Yeah, made in China. Well, that's a nice little road car. Doesn't tell me what kind of car it is either. Somebody out there who's a car, who knows who knows about cars, will be able to tell me that. But wow, it looks like a roadster. Really nice. This this is a Woody. I don't know if I'd see Woodies around that much anymore. California mostly <laughs> and uh, Mad Max. this is this is one that I was uh, made in China too it's from 2000 this is 2003 this is this one's pretty old look at that it's got it's an X-Men car Didn't know it. Didn't even know I had this thing. <laughs> the things you find down here. And well, what's this? I know what that is. I guess that's about it for right now. Um, Oh, wait a minute. There was one more car that I had back there. Oh, it's all the way back there. Ah, I'll show you that in the next clip. I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. Happy New Year. Oh, crap. Now I forgot something else. Well, I'm not going to make another clip. Man. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go over there and get it. Something else I found in this in this place. step over that box I just put there. I haven't seen this for a few years. Again, I didn't even know I had this. It's a Spider-Man playset. Alleyway playset. Excuse me. See if I can show it to you without any glare. It's almost impossible. Sorry for the for the glare, but kind of unavoidable. But that's pretty cool <laughs> Man. oh here is a side panel it shows you what he does he actually jumps or goes swinging around town from building to building he's doing his uh, spider-man acrobatics <clears throat> 
So that was cool. I'm probably going to put that up on eBay. And then this thing here. It's another one. Spider-Man. With uh, the Shocker. Yeah. So that was pretty neat. And I think this is the... I have two of these. I think I even might have showed one in a previous video, one of these. But uh, this is a, a second one that I found. So I wanted to show you that. And, uh, you know, I got other interests, you know, as well, you know, besides comic book collecting and uh, original movie posters and stuff like that and action figures. I used to build a lot of models, and I like building models. So I'm getting back into that now. I'm just building a, uh, an area back there for a workshop and for, a, you know, a, I got a work table back there and uh, gonna have a spray booth for airbrushing and things like that and uh, in my other house that I, where I rent out the apartments there's an attic and in the attic I got a lot of stuff there too that I forgot about and I've been going through that finding all sorts of stuff a buddy of mine staying there right now because that's actually been converted into an in-law apartment. So he's staying there because he ain't got no place to go right now. He went through his inheritance like that. Happens sometimes, I guess. Anyway, some of the stuff I found there were all these mini lights. 187 scale mini lights. I got uh, LED lights and... Uh, I got a, here are some LED lights, and then these really small lights that, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but, see that? These are not fiber optics, these are actual light bulbs with wires and everything. Um, I'm going to use these for headlights in, uh, This model, I want to, this one small car that I want to kit bash. I want to show that to you right now. Oh, found these paints up there, these weathering paints, and they're still good. With the exception of one that's dried out. The other ones are still all good. And another weathering kit. But, look at this. This is what I brought over. This is a whole box of uh, 187 scale vehicles in little tiny kits. And uh, they were all in different boxes, cardboard boxes that were falling apart and yellowing. And so I found a bunch of stuff up there. And I had to go out and get plastic totes. So I take everything out of the boxes, and the more boxes I went through, the more totes I realized I had to have. I ended up getting something like 23 plastic totes, big ones and small ones, and they all got filled up. Look at this. Dracula. This is the... Uh, from the Johnny Lightning series of uh, Universal Studios, they use the uh, uh, the monsters from Universal Studios: uh, Dracula, Frankenstein, the Mummy, and the Invisible Man, and the Creature. And they uh, made cars. I don't know if I'll convert this one, you know, with headlights and. 
operating steering wheel and things like that but because this is a nice nice collectible piece in the package but there are other ones there's a bunch of smoke, <laughs> smoke. Oh all these different cars and trucks at HO scale and then I even got some a couple of them that look like they might have been pretty expensive because they look like they're in a uh, in some kind of jewelry case turned out it's for a Zippo lighter I must have put this in there a long time ago this is an HO uh, oh it's a beautiful looking car 54 Cadillac fifty four Cadillac and I'm gonna convert this one for sure put the headlights in there and add some interior details put on some rear brake lights probably maybe some LEDs rear brake lights and uh, set these up on my scale model railroad that I want to build it's just going to be a tiny one, you know, like maybe a, I don't know, maybe a 7x9, 6x9, I might have room back there for one of the, for one that, about that size, or it might even only be a 4x8, I don't know, but anyway, uh, can't show you everything in here, but here's something from Highway Miniatures. Dollar seventy five, and that's uh, a car. For, what is that? It's another Ford, nineteen eleven Ford delivery car. In the form of a kit, H O. And here's a nineteen fifteen Ford fire truck. Two dollars. Oh man, I don't know how long ago I must have bought these, but you won't you won't find this today for two bucks. That's for sure. Anyway, some of the stuff I found, cleaned it up a little bit. Ah, just a ton of stuff, and. Uh, a ton of promotional posters. But this wasn't in there, but this was in there. Well, okay. That's it. That's it for this one, folks. Thanks for joining me. Uh, sorry I went out for so damn long again. I gotta get a timer. Man, oh man. Anyway, uh, I'll catch everybody next time. Thanks for watching and keep collecting books. And what does Hippie always say? Collect what you like and love what you collect. To borrow, uh, a phrase from Hippie, if he doesn't mind. Take care, people.